Hi, my name is Mrs. Ackert, and I'm starting Chapter 24, Freedom. They contemplated how they could break the glass bottle. Twig wandered through the pile of debris, lost in thought. He scrambled over what he thought was a pile of sticks and driftwood, but something else caught his eye. The handle of a hammer, long ago separated from its claw, poked out from the mass of wood pieces. Twig's mind raced. What if they made a hammer, then used it to smash the glass? Hey, over here, he squealed as he pulled at the wooden handle. Basil took one look and his whiskers lit up. Got it, he exclaimed. Got it, Lily joined in. We find something to use as a weight, fasten it to a handle, and create a glass smasher, right? Right, Twig replied. Lily, you find all the rope and vines we'll need. Basil and I will search for the right weight. Let's go. Lily scrambled over logs and rocks and debris, searching for the long lengths of twine and fishing line and honeysuckle vines that, she, that she'd need. Basil and Twig unearthed a long, oddly shaped rock that seemed perfect. It took them a while, but pushing in unison, they got it into position. Then, tying one end of the rope to the rock, they made a swinging hammer. After many attempts, they had the hammer suspended, dangling from an overhanging tree limb. The other end of the rope was tied down. The three of them pulled the rock up a slope, then let go. The rock swung in a deep arc, swooshing through the weeds and hitting the glass bottle with a hard whack. After several blows, the thick glass cracked. Then cracked some more, then shattered in hundreds of shards. Twig and Basil tied the larger pieces with ropes and dragged them away from their area. Lily gingerly cleared the deck of broken pieces, tossing them over the side and then swept the planks of the deck clean.